So what's up guys? Last video we saw how we got this equation from the batch reactor. Now we're going to see a later example of how can we use that equation or a more useful equation because actually I've never seen this class. I will see that this is not that difficult. You got this value times this value and you got this differential first order equation. So how do you do it? Let's suppose we have this equation or this reaction, A transforms into B. Now they tell you calculate the time needed to achieve certain amount of moles of A. Of course you got initial moles of A and you're going to end up with another quantity of A. Since it is reacting, please expect that this amount is going to be larger or bigger than this amount. So if we got, I don't know, 100 gram moles and I reacted 10, I will got 90 at the ending. So Okay, we got our little reactor here, we got our design equation, if you don't know where I got this equation, please go back. And let's apply it for species A, so instead of J, we're going to substitute for A. So I got rate of reaction of A times the volume will give me the uh, differential amount of moles of A per time. Okay, simply I just set this into A. Now, we got this equation. Uh, the first thing I want to do, if you know first order differential equations, is to send this here. And what else? Well, actually, just that. Now I integrate this from zero to time and from initial amount of A to final amount of A. So as you can see, uh, this is not time dependent, so I take it out. Now I got one, the integral of one is t. So evaluate 0 and t in this t, and you get this value here. So let me go up here. Now, I'm going to send this dividing here, and this is essentially just time. So this is, let me evaluate t minus 0, will give you t, and then you get this value here. Uh, the thing here is that this is not that typical in literature, because we love minus RA, the rate of production in negative term. So let's force this value here in here. So what do we do? Essentially, if I want to get this minus symbol, I need to multiply it up here. So I take it away here and I got this minus and I got my rate of reaction. So remember that rate of reaction is simply how many moles of A are disappearing per unit time and unit volume. So the thing here is that I don't want this minus being here. So if you remember integrals math, I can twist or switch. I switch them here, so final goes here and initial goes here, which makes a lot of sense because this is a positive value. Volume is a positive value. And if you got this integral, you will see that this value, the initial value, is bigger than the final value. As I told you in the example before, it will be 100, and let's say the final value will be 90. So you get an integral like this, if you integrate this, let's say you got, a, 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 I don't know, any value, NA, you're going to get a positive value. So once again, we got our master equation. We love having this because in the literature we have a lot of rate of reactions in this term, not RA, doesn't make that much sense, you got always minus RA. And yeah, this guys called the integral form of a batch reactor design equation is essentially this a develop equation but you know guys you can always do it from this part right here so this equation is okay it's also fine and this equation is also fine it depends on what you are looking for and yeah that was our example now if you wanted to know I got this from the book figure one through uh, figure 6 in chapter 1 obviously as A goes or decreases goes down here the concentration of B or the amount of moles of B are going to grow so if you're going to have let's say 100 here this is 50 this is 10 and this is 0 you're going to have also at the beginning you're going to have I don't know 10 and then you got 50 and then you got I don't know 80 so since it's one to one, 
when you react 10 of A, you're going to have 10 of B. So at the ending, you get 90 of A and 10 of B. Uh, yeah, essentially that was everything. That was for batch reactors, which are not flow reactors. In the next video, we're going to see flow reactors and how we apply the mole balance equations. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.